to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren. Followers of the truth, you followers of the truth, Shalom to the elect. Shalom. <clears throat> uh, so, anyway, I want to go in this video real quick. I saw it this morning, if I can find it. Uh, this is called, it says, Dying Out Retail Apocalypse. Warning after legendary retailers begins 100 store closures with Kohl's and Nordstrom's under pressure. Now, make no mistake, we all know this is uh, all set up by the Heavenly Father, but these elites, they believe they, they have other plans. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff is outsourced, right? Um, it's import export, but a lot of things are now being made and brought over to the Americas for um, you know profit. So we're gonna get a scripture on that a little bit later. But I wanted to read this, um, and this is all in the NWO, so to speak. So. More department store closures have been projected for 2023. I remember 2022 stores was closing, you know, with even more, even some of the most popular retailers potentially affected with Macy's plans to close 125 locations, right? Because, you know, people are buying Amazon, <laughs> you know, Amazon is, has taken over that. They eBay, they, they um using other retailers. You know, like I said, the internet, you can buy anything off the internet. It says, over the next three years, experts warned that other major retailers such as Nordstrom and Kohl's could be following their footsteps. <clears throat> Nordstrom is among uh, the department. And Mort Nordstrom's was the truth at one time, man. If you shopped in there, you know, you were saying something. These stores that could be closing more locations amid financial pressure in 2023. It says, um, well, let me read the scripture real quick and I'll come back. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. Few of what? Jobs. Right? Um, and those that look out of the windows <clears throat> be darkened, you know, representing you wake up, you have no job. OK, that's why everybody's trying to pile in with one another. Families, uh, two family, three family households. And this is hey man. This is the collapse. This is going to be a year of prophecies. You know, it says and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and the daughters of music shall be brought low, right? You know, now everybody got their, their phones, and it rings, and they got their songs playing to wake them up, right? You hear the the, um, the horns hitting, you know, like birds, you hear the horns chirping, the horns hitting. The actual music that we see of today is being brought low. There's various examples of that. Right, it's various examples of that, of how um, it's going down, you know. Um, so all the all the um, let me go on. It says also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, right, and desires shall fall. Right. So everything else is going to be going on except work in America because man goeth to his long home and the mourners go about the streets. Right. <laughs> you, can't, you know, this is um, uh, this is this is what it is. I mean, get, let me get another scripture real quick um, to back this up. So the, the mirth. The mirth of the land uh, is being is being brought is brought being brought low. 
Let's go to Amos 3 and 15. It says, And I will smite the winter house with the summer house, and the house of ivory shall perish, and the great houses shall have an end, saith the Lord. You know, his whole structure is going to be destroyed, but first these things must come to pass. So let me head back on over to this article real quick, and then I'll finish up with the last, the other scripture. It says, in a business insider report, UBS investing experts expresses, express concerns over the future of mid-tier retailers. Their message was clear. Another wave of retail apocalypse <laughs> is on the horizon. Beginning in 2017, various department stores began shifting from their brick and mortar business structure to a fully online model. See, that's what I'm saying. Then hit it with the pan, the pan thing, and now facing climbing inflation, because after this thing happened, you had a, a rise in inflation, which we can't talk much on that, but it actually happened. Even more retailers are under pressure to close up shop at their unprofitable location. So when this thing happened the last couple years, people, you know, stores was closing, people was affected because they wasn't able to go to work some people were ill sick you know and it just caused all kinds of problems and they needed stimulus to stimulate the economy and then when you stimulate something like what goes up must come down and then when that happens you you in even a greater debt uh, you know a greater a worse situation you know because now it's the value of the dollar that plummets because you're pumping more money into the the bubble, which to me, that's all they've been doing. That's just an excuse to do what they're going to do, is what I believe, um, which we can see. So let's go to Revelation 18 and 22. And the voice of the harpers and musicians and of the pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee talking about in babylon right when this thing is down and totally wiped out when babylon is destroyed see this is going to set this all up for revelation 18 because when all the um when all the jobs go outsourced and to uh everywhere else and you try and you making your business off of outsourced you know outsource uh, product what happened what happens when the place where you was making money from is totally gone right uh, verse 20 rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets for Yahweh have revenged you on her and I just did a video on Deuteronomy 28 right and this would definitely prove that this is um, what was done to the Israelites, you know, the avenging, which the Lord is going to do, is from our captivity and all the hell that we caught, right? And this man and his system going down. It's crazy how people say that Deuteronomy 28 wasn't talking about Negroes you just devalued yourself, man, in a so-called so -called heritage. Anyway, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of the harpers and musicians and, and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. See, this all ties in. This is a precept from Ecclesiastes 12. So it all has to ties in when you see this and then you go to Deuteronomy 28 and then you see what happened and how this place was set up for bondage, as Egypt says. We can see that it all ties in together when you talk about the trade, import, export. This is why we can't say it's the Vatican, right? Some liars say that. When Revelation 17 says uh, all nations and kindreds and tongues, Revelation 7 as well. But 
this proves prophecy because when Babylon, this proves this is Babylon because this would be the prophecy of the trading. When you go up early in the scripture, you read the 18th chapter, it goes up into the uh, scripture. It talks about the ships, the shipmaster with the ivory and the incense and the, the food, the furniture, basically in a nutshell. So when you see all this kind of combining, you can see that this would have to be uh, Babylon. And if this is Babylon, there's something that Babylon had done that it was on a tremendous level that it would be destroyed. And what did they do? They took the children of Israel, robbed them of their heritage, plundered them, right? Jeremiah 17 and 4, they discontinued from their heritage. Goes on to say, um, and uh, trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman or whatsoever craft he be shall be found uh, any more in thee, and the sound of the millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee, and the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee, holly weird and everything else, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard. No more at all in thee. No more weddings. You know. For the merchants were the great men of the earth. For by their, thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And this is why the, this is why I'm going to this. You know, the, the closing of the store is going to, we can do better. And, you know. And it, it's really, it's really destroying the economy even further. You know, when you don't have an in-house economy, or let me say in-house businesses, as the so-called black community, you see what happened to the so-called black community. You didn't you, you didn't have your in-house money keeping it in. Right? It's, this is all through greed and deception. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints and of all that was slain upon the earth. That's why I'm saying the earth. Because you had the prophets that were, you know, you had the men of the Lord that were brought here on slave on on um, on ships, right? And you know, we're reincarnated, so we were the same men in the past. The uh, apostles, I mean, yeah, the apostles, um, prophets, Isaiah, Apostle Paul, even though that they were there, right? They were re reincarnated in here. So there's a lot to pay for, and this is prophecy that's all I have on that Shalom